think that changing weather patterns, especially increased frequency of extreme weather events, if not mitigated or managed, uh, does pose financial risk. And as an insurance company, we exist to help people embrace today and confidently pursue tomorrow. So we are in the business of underwriting risk. But we also see climate risk as an opportunity. So our approach really is built on four pillars. One is strong governance and oversight. And here we have brought together and we've created something called the Climate Council internal uh, 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 it's an internal group uh, and we have representatives on the business as well as the different environment uh, different functions of regu regulatory financial um, uh, risk management etc and we do uh, meet bi-weekly to discuss um, our climate issues um, we also uh, from a risk management perspective we, we look at it both from a physical and transition risk and we are here we are leveraging the TCFD framework to continue to explore, discover, and uh, implement. Uh, there's also measurement and transparency. We've been having a lot of discussions internally about what to measure, how to measure, what are the challenges around measurement, and, and um, how to report all this information. And lastly, which I'll spend a little bit of time on is strategically. Eventually, this is about getting uh, transitioning to low carbon economy. Uh, and here we focus on innovation and new products because we see climate as an opportunity. And, uh, and for example, um, you know, parametric insurance, that is an insurance which is event driven, not loss driven. So uh, imagine with me a world where when you have um, a cyclone or um, you have, you're an agriculture farmer and you have frost happening mm -hmm. and you have a parametric insurance against frost and based on where you are, that event has occurred and it pays out when you actually need help the most. So those are the kinds of products you have. We're also doing a lot of work around uh, advisory, helping our clients and coming from the asset management space. Uh, you know, I call it insurance stewardship, uh, offering discounts for loss, loss mitigation, such as have storm shutters, et cetera, um, giving risk management guides around how do you, uh, outlining number of steps the policyholders can take and lastly, uh, coming up with new products that allows them to build back better. So, you know, different uh, products which will say if you ha have suffered a loss, you can, you know, build back with more energy efficient products or solar panels, etc. So there's a lot going on in the space. You know, we don't, we can't let perfect be the enemy of good, but we actually do have to talk about what's not working and how are we collectively going to fix it. And I think one of the things that, uh, you know, when you think about our industry, we are pricing this risk, right? So you definitely want good models to price it. And that doesn't mean you don't price it, so you price it with what you have. But let's talk about, um, you know, I came from the investment industry and a large part of, we, we, we are financial services. A large part of financial services talk about averages and median. When you think about what really impacts the bottom line and what really impacts us is the extreme weather events, right? And uh, when you look at the data for extreme weather events, it's not very good. The data is getting better, but around the means. However, when you're actually trying to look at the extremes, you still have problems. And I read somewhere, and, and this is you know one of my colleagues who's a climate scientist, she, she sent me an article where the climate scientists are saying, you know, what, what the regulators and investors are wanting are 10 years ahead of what the actual capabilities exist in the uh, industry. So not trying to say we're not gonna do anything because the solution, the tools are bad, but what are we doing to, to create those better tools? And how are we, and are we gonna do that individually? What are we going to do as an industry working together to actually solve for these problems. And I think the other aspect uh, I've also noticed, you know, when it comes to reporting, um, often um, somebody said insurance is the stepchild of, in the financial sector, right? And what they, what they mean here is that a lot of the solutions uh, were built, uh, whether it's emissions calculations, et cetera, they were all built uh, and metrics were built for the investments. Uh, now and and um, they need to be adapted. They cannot be just put retrofit um, and and forced down without actually understanding the difference. For example, you know, physical risk is something the CAT models in our business really capture, right? Transition risk is something which is 
different and we need to start looking at in different ways. So we really need to start building solutions and um, whether it's emission calculation or models which are right for the industry. And again, here, I think there's a role for the industry to come together to play that, to find solutions.